once I felt like God was saying, this is what I want you to do, it, it felt to me like the doors for other things closed very, very firmly. And the doors for going to Northwestern and then to the mission field opened very definitely. The, the unfortunate part, I loved it, but it, it was great for me, but it was not great for my wife. And so we, I left that and then about six months later she left me and um, I was I was devastated I felt very low I did not feel like I was I was worthy leaving that having a failed ministry and then a failed marriage um, created for me about 20 years of just walking into a church on Sunday morning, finding a pew, sitting through the service and leaving, and that was it. I did nothing. And so I came back to Minnesota. When I came back to Minnesota, I knew nobody. I, did, uh, I knew my family, but I didn't know anybody at Constance. So it was through two things then when I came back to, to Minnesota. One was going on a mission trip to Haiti, and the second one was joining a small group. And through that small group, it was um, it, it was like my eyes were opened again to the fact that I, I could serve again. I think that everybody has different spiritual gifts so that what your spiritual gift is, is what you should pursue. Our, our mission was never to raise a hand or to walk the aisle or to say a prayer and accept Christ and say, okay, you're done, you're good to go. I'm, my spot in heaven is reserved, so I'm, I'm fine the rest of the way. James put it very clearly, if you don't have, you know, faith without works is dead. So I think that serving is the natural next step in accept Christ and now what can I do? That's the sanctification. That's, that's how you're going to grow in your Christian walk. It's not by hearing a sermon one Sunday morning and then doing nothing the rest of the week. It, that's how you grow, is to become involved. The body needs to have all different, different members performing their spiritual gift in order to perform correctly. I feel like it has become my full-time job. Now that I'm retired, it has become my full-time job to lead groups, and I have large groups so that I'm, I'm able to shepherd and, and serve many more people now than I did when I was pastoring the church in Canada. It, it's one thing to, to lead a group for 10 weeks. It's another thing to lead that group and see where the people have come in those 10 weeks. Uh, I feel now that there's, there's purpose. There's, there's much more purpose in, in getting up in the morning and getting ready for, for my groups. I think that it has, it has really caused me to become more focused on what I'm here for in for the rest of the days that God gives me.